What's up guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to create um, an interior system. So basically I'm going to teach you how to create um, like different types of entries. So with checkpoints, uh, pickups and even button presses. So basically the first thing you've got to do is uh, j jump to the link in the description and you'll come to this link, um, to this, um, yeah, you don't have to go to this website sort of thing. You can find, um, you know, interior locations elsewhere. But firstly, we actually need um, the to be able to spawn ourselves inside the interior that we want to use to be able to get um, the coordinates that we need. All right, so basically, um, like, a, like I'm just going to use the bank as an example. So basically, I, I'm, I'm going to choose this. So basically, um, th this is the interior ID and this is the coordinates of, of inside the bank. So the interior ID is actually zero. The, um, the bank is the only interior that um, is actually interior, um, like ID interior zero. I'll show you on screen now. It's because it, it, the interior is actually um in the exterior i think um at, at the location at palomino creek so basically the interior is zero but um what we'll do is what you need to do is you need to open up your game mode and just make a temporary command uh you know go to bank and then paste the coordinates uh there so you can spawn inside the bank and remember interior is zero and our virtual world zero we'll just put it as zero so basically what i'll do is i'll save that and i'll compile it so now i'll jump in game and um and, and then we'll, we'll do everything from there Okay, so now I'm in game. So basically, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the exterior locations for wherever you want the interiors. So you can create multiple t interiors. I'm going to show you how to create multiple interiors. What I mean by that is basically uh, using the same interior multiple times because we're actually going to use virtual worlds. So I've created some commands to be able to go to uh, where my banks are, my exteriors are quickly. So basically, I'll go to um, um, LS Bank. So you, you just got to go to your um, wherever you want your interior and then um, or also make a command to give yourself some guns or just give yourself some guns because it, it comes in handy when you're actually getting the coordinates so basically this is the exterior for for LS where I want the bank so what, what you do is you walk up to the center of the bank like that and then you type save and type LS exterior door so we'll go like that and I'll show you where these uh, locations are saved later but basically the reason why I, I told you to, to get a gun is what you need to do is you need to turn around 180 degrees like this and then just uh, click the right mouse button once and you'll turn around so basically what you need to do is walk forward about two times so you're about you know two meters or three meters away from the, the um the door and then what you do is you, you line you, you line up your facing angle like this so you line it up as best you can and then you save that um, exterior and you type spawn so we've got ls exterior door and ls exterior spawn so that's um um uh, ls done so what i'll do is i'll type, go to ls bank and i'll just quickly do these all right so i've done sf now i'll jump over to lv bank because i'm going to show you how to do basically three three um interiors so my one's here for lv Alright, so that's LV done. So now we've got the exterior um, coordinates. What we need to do is we need to um, go inside the bank. So um, what was it? Go to bank, the command we just created and got the coordinates from that website. So we'll go to bank. So now we're, I'm inside the bank. So basically, um, you know, you, you can get the coordinates here, uh, you know, for your counter location. But basically, I'm just showing you how to make the interior. So basically, now we're, now we're going to create the... Um, the the interior door location so what i'll do is i'll type save bank interior door i'll turn around quickly and i'll do the spawn so basically the reason why i'm doing it um you know a bit further like this the spawn location is with the checkpoints you, you don't want to spawn spawn them in the checkpoint because then they'll just spawn back outside so you've got to spawn them outside of the checkpoint so i'll go spawn like that so now we've got all the coordinates and uh, what, I'll, what I'll do is I'll jump over in, um, into the script and I'll show you how it's done. Alright, to start off guys, um, basically I'm going to be using um, the, the streamer plugin. So I'll, I'll put a link for that in the description if you haven't already got it. So install that, install it in your plugins folder and a porno includes. And then, um, you know, add the include like this and then compile and it should compile for you. And once it does, basically the first thing we're going to do is um, we've got to create um, some data to store um, to store the interior data in. So basically what I'll do is I'll get rid of that. So basically the first thing we need to do is create an enum. 
So um, you, you can name this whatever you want. Um, so there's no max players here. It's just, um, you know, interior data. So uh, basically we need one, um, one for the um, Los Santos entry, SF entry, LV entry, and exit. This will, uh, you know, sort of be different compared to your, um, uh, you know, your interior. So depending how many interiors there is. So if there's three interiors, there needs to be three different um, entries for each interior. And the exit can be just one um, you know one checkpoint so uh, practically so now we've got the data uh, the next thing we need to do is um, you know uh, create the the map icon so what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll go public so on filter script initiate we'll go um, the first thing we've got to do uh, basically is we need to create some map icons so um, you know players know that there's an actual interior there so uh, Basically, we need to create three of them. So for the bank, I've made the, the map icon, um, you know, the dollar sign. I'll show you on screen now what it is. But basically, yep, they're all do dollar signs. And now um, what, 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 what you want to do is you want to sort of co um, do comments here so you know which one's which. So I'll go LS bank. All right, so... Um, now we've separated each um, map icon for each interior I'm doing. So now we, we, with the coordinates, what you want to do is you want to go to Documents and then to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas User Files and then SAMP and then down to Save Positions Text. And this is where these are all the coordinates that we got from typing Save. So basically, now I've got the um, the interior, the exterior is like this. So the exteriors are like that. So there's LS, SF, and that. So with, with the icons, it's going to be the door location. So what we need is the X, Y, Z of the door. So X, Y, Z. So practically, those are the map icons now showing. So now what we need to do is we need to actually create the checkpoints or pickups. I'm going to show you um, how to do both practically. So we need to actually create the checkpoints or pickups to be able to, when they walk into the checkpoint and pick up, then we spawn them inside the interior. So practically what we need to do is we need to grab uh, these and this is how we can create the um, the checkpoints and that. But this is where the enum comes in. So we need to actually create, uh, save each checkpoint ID and pickup ID so we can use them later. So practically, um, you know, you're either going to use a checkpoint or pickup. So whichever one you're going to do, practically just follow along. So this is the LS entry, um, the LS entry door, which is here, obviously. So this is the door location. So there's LS. Um, what I'll do is I'll go like that, and then we'll go SF -L 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 -V. So that's done. So we'll go SF and LV. Okay, so um practically the, those are the checkpoints so what if if you're going to use pickups what you want to do is you want to do the exact same thing i've done here for the entries but uh just use uh, you know uh th this whole function here on on cr uh, create dynamic pickup so you'll be using pickups instead of checkpoints because it's done the exact same way so i'm going to use checkpoints for for this one so now we've created the checkpoints we need to actually now we've created the entry checkpoints we need to create the exit checkpoint so We'll go like this, and we'll create that. So the exit checkpoint is obviously the interior door. So there we go. There's the interior door. So there's the interior door exit. I'll just double check. Yep, interior door. All right, so now uh, with the spawn locations, uh, these ones, this is where, uh, where they come in. So when they actually walk into the checkpoint, or, or the pickup, obviously. So now this is where these callbacks come into play. So now, um, you're going to use either one or the other. It's pretty much done the exact same way. Instead of me doing if checkpoint ID equals, you'll be doing if uh, pickup ID equals. So I'm going I'm to be using checkpoints. Uh, so practically, what we need to do is you can't use a switch statement. So we have to use um, else statements, um, uh, if statements, sorry. So practically, if checkpoint ID equals LS entry, we need to... Um, set player interior player id zero and then we need to uh set player virtual world 
because virtual worlds come in um come into play so the interior is zero but the we're, we're going to have virtual world one for ls virtual world two for sf and virtual world three for lv so that's how you determine which actually interior they're in to um so you know where to spawn them when they actually enter the the um the exit interior um the exit uh checkpoint so practically now we are uh, set interior in virtual world what we need to do is set player pos and this is where um the spawn so when they enter when they enter the um like the the ls exterior thing they actually spawn on the interior so what i'll do is i'll grab that even the facing angle as well because we're going to use that so i'll do the xyz so xyz and then um set player facing angle all right so what you want to do here also is set camera behind player and that that will actually spawn them on the inside um correctly so now um now that since they're spawning in the exact same interior we do pretty much the exact same thing um for sf and lv but pretty much we just change the virtual world to two and for lv it's virtual world virtual world three so one two and three so now for the exit um the exit interior what we need to do is we can go else if check point id equals the exit what we need to do is in here we need to go if get player virtual world equals one we know they're in ls oh wait what's it what happened here so if it equals one we know they're in ls so this will be ls bank so then we can go like this i'll just quickly build these if statements all right so now we know which uh you know bank they're in now we can determine where we're going to spawn them so pretty much we grab pretty much the same bit of code there and then for here um we set the virtual world back to zero and um interior zero is pretty much outside like i know um the bank is interior uh zero but that's the only interior it's just because the way I, uh, the reason is the way i explained before so um practically now what we need to do is when they exit the ls bank we need to uh spawn them on the outside so what we do is we grab their facing angle as well and then we just uh spawn them on the outside of our ls bank so what i'll do is i'll build this all right so there's sf now i can grab um sf the xyz and facing all right now lv is the last one all right so that's done all right now um that's pretty much uh, pretty much how it works, guys, to be able to um, spawn them in and outside the interiors. So when they enter the entry of each uh, bank, they spawn in the right virtual world, uh, like, you know, in the same position, pretty much. And then when, when um, they enter the exit, um, we actually check their virtual world to check which bank they're in and then spawn them to the right exterior. So that's pretty much uh, how it's done. What I'll do is I'll save that and uh, compile. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to e explain how you can do the um, e e like how you can do the same thing but with push buttons. So uh, basically, without the do without the checkpoints and the, and the, like the pickups, we we have to actually create. A, like a dynamic text label to be able to tell the player hey you know you know press this button here and you can enter the um interior otherwise there'll be nothing there and they won't know what to do sort of thing so what i do is i i do press here and then, then i do k like this and then uh th this symbol again like that on the outside then i'll do vehicle underscore exit underscore uh, enter underscore exit this is pretty much um to uh, like um getting the actual key the the exit which is enter uh the the enter button or return and it's pretty much getting their key if they've actually changed it in their settings it will show to whatever key that um they've changed it to so that so instead of putting you know press enter here it actually shows shows them what key uh they need to press so that's a little tip there so correctly what we need to do is now we need to do um instead of creating the um the checkpoints and that uh, what I'll do is I'll leave the checkpoints, but what we need to do is we need to create, um, you know, the text labels now. So we can just go ls like this. 
All right, guys, just a small fix. Uh, when, when you're creating the 3D text labels, make sure you actually create another one for, for the actual exit because the player won't actually know, um, you know, you know, like what, you know, what it is like, so, you know, what's there or what to do. So pretty much add another one for them pretty much at the exit. And uh, what I'll do is I'll save and compile and there you go. And then do the same thing for um, SF and LV. All right, so now now we've got the text labels. So it could, because there won't be any checkpoints or pickups. So, um, but I'm going to just leave the checkpoints so I can show you how they work. So now now we've got um, the text labels. They they know they can actually press a button. Now what we need to do is we need to use uh, this callback on player key state change, and um, pretty much uh, this is this is how you uh, do um, correctly do it for pressing. Um, the, this key which is enter pretty much e enter um and e exit vehicles is pretty much enter it's the same thing so th this is just the key the key for it the key id so pretty much type that and you, and this is the e the enter key so now um what we need to do is we need to um instead of creating checkpoints we just uh determine uh we, which bank they're at by doing um by using this function so we'll go if is player range of point so the X, Y, Z, which is, this is LS. So we can go LS bank and then we can go like that. So that means that at LS, else we can go like this and that can be um, SF and this can be LV. And there's LV. And what you want to do is um, after all these else statements, you want to go like this, uh, just in case they've um they're actually not in range of any of these banks um like the, well we don't need to do that we don't need to tell them they're not in the bank because um i was yeah i was just getting confused there we don't need to do that so now we know that they're at um ls bank what we need to do is just pretty much grab this same code and um put that here put the id uh the virtual world to one for ls two for sf and three for LV. So that's pretty much how it is. Um, actually, now we need to actually create another L statement for the exit. So we pretty much do the exact same thing we did here, um, but for the exit. So if they actually, I need to get the coordinates um, for that. So bank exit. So I can just get the bank exit here. All right, so if they're in range of the bank exit, actually, I've got to give it a specified range. So just do two meters. So that's enough sort of thing. So if they're sort of in the checkpoint or just slightly next to it. All right, so that's done. So pretty much that's how you do it, uh, you know, for button presses. All right, guys, I'm doing the edit and I found a small uh, issue. Basically, practically what you want to do is inside this if statement, you want to uh, return one down here just so it doesn't uh, continue down to uh, any other um, if statements for button checks. So what I'll do is I'll save that and I'll compile it compiles. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly jump in game and um, so show you how it works. So I'll go here, server, down to here. Everything's running good. I'll quickly jump in game and I'll show you how it goes. All right, guys, so I spawned in game and as you can see, um, on the bottom uh, left, the, the, the map icon, which is the, uh, the, the dollar sign. And this is what happens when you walk into the entry of LS. So now I'm um, inside, you know, inside the bank and I can walk back out. Now I'm back on um, outside of, um, you know, LS. And uh, what I can do is I can go a bit close and maybe press enter. There you go, the buttons press, the buttons work. So there you go, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you uh, create interiors. It's all done the same way. You, you just do um, choose the interior you want to choose. And uh, that's pretty much how it works. So uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, uh, let, me know, uh, let me know in the comments and hit the like button and consider subscribing because that's all I post is um, script releases, um, dev logs, um, and even news. So hit the like button and consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.